afternoon everybody what we have before us is um, is spectacle and yet the people get upset if I film it but I feel compelled to because I saw new lumber being brought in a lot of it very expensive and on new vehicles I don't think if someone was truly homeless they would really be able to make things this kind of huge and big and the newspaper had like a whole bunch of articles about that that one was that they need you know that they are now proposing you know millions of dollars for a housing project so suddenly I'm going wow who is going to benefit from that right is this all just a ploy from you know some friend of someone's and there are the people who are trying to make it so we don't have to pay for abortions in this nation and here's safe place which really isn't it's another nonprofit that just gets money and uses it up just very wastefully they lobbied and lobbied and lobbied for years for a new building. They had to have a new building, and they were in a place that was perfectly fine. They weren't really doing anything anyway. And now they've got a, a new building. I was shocked to see anyone even walking out of there. I never see action happening there. They really don't help people at all. I've taken people there in the past that were homeless and in need and they just say well we aren't lawyers we aren't here to represent people we really can't be advocates you know so it's weird they're just there to tell you what they cannot do but you know when I went out to Evergreen there are probably about 3,000 available beds out at the Evergreen State College right now if you really wanted to live somewhere and these are all kind of young kids that are over there. It's not your down and out true homeless, you know, the alcoholic, disabled, you know, carpenter or veteran or anything of that nature. And it's weird. It almost seems symbiotic with this um, Obama land right now because it's Friday. A lot of uh, cars took off interesting how that happens um yeah so it's not like i i wish i i know most people don't i do sometimes get sort of simple comments saying you're bashing the homeless and it's not that simple nothing is that simple it's what is going on we have theater here um later when i get home i'll do a video so you can see what the newspaper said. The newspaper, one of the articles says, um, the headline is, there are so many homeless camps in Olympia, the city is going to begin to name them. It's like, what? Did I read that right? You know, <laughs> right? Instead of, you know, dismantling them and enrolling everyone in Evergreen or, you know, whatever it is they need to do, um, it's theater, it's spectacle. It's we're gonna put up something right in the middle of town and make a huge spectacle and just sort of sit there and claim land, you know, claim ownership, um, which no one else could do once again. No one else could do this. These are people who definitely have juice, you know, these are juiced, these are juiced souls. And that is what I feel. I really, I, when I looked, the one that came out to um, kind of berate me one day uh, looked no different than the students at the, uh, the flaming eggplant. And, you know, it's funny, when I, when I was kind of going by it, I was not planning on filming anyone's faces at all and was just going to be filming the um, 
you know, the little writings on the wall, as it were. But it was interesting that as soon as someone just saw me, even just on the precipice outside the door, you know, just filming up close, um, you know, a brochure, an adver advertisement, that they would just go completely, you know, excuse me. And I just find that interesting, that sort of authoritarianism, um, especially in someone so young, you know, to sort of, how dare they do that to their elders? <laughs> anyway, take good care, everyone. We will see what develops with our giant little homeless town. I'll tell you what the name is. Bye.